Hello everybody, this is Michael DeLangshack here, and today we are going to discuss the similarities between Cape Verdean Creole and Papiamento. The Cape Verdean Creole is the world's oldest spoken Creole and the world's most widely spoken Portuguese-based Creole, still spoken today. The Cape Verdean Creole variety was brought over to the D Netherlands Antilles during the 1640s to the 1670s during the slave trade when the Dutch transported slaves to their Caribbean plantations. The Dutch used to have a colony in guinea bissau not far from the Cape Verdean archipelago. The language most likely spoken in the Netherlands Antilles at this time was a Spanish-derived Creole, most likely. That's because the Spanish were there for quite some time before the Dutch took over the islands. Cape Verdean Creole intermingled with this Spanish mix, presumed to be Pabiamento before, and voila, the Portuguese influence is born. There are many striking similarities between Cape Verdean Creole and Upper Guinea Creole and Pabiamento, most specifically to the Creole spoken on the island of Santiago in Cape Verde and Pabiamento. Papiamento is today a mixture of Spanish and Portuguese mainly, with elements of Dutch, English, Italian, French, and a sprinkle of African languages. And Cape Verdean Creole is mainly Portuguese-based with some African elements. Some words in common between the two Creoles include the papia, to speak or talk, which comes from Old Portuguese papear, which means to have a chat. Tang or ting means to have. An M at the end of words in Cape Verdean Creole and an N at the end of words in Papiamento has the sound of a velar nasal. Mwah. Manera is an interesting word because como means how as well as like or as in both Spanish and in Portuguese. However, it means how in Cape Verdean Creole and it means as or like in Papiamento. The famous douchey, bida, a phrase commonly used in Aruba, the, the word douchey comes from a Cape Verdean dialect, the Santiago dialect doshi, which means sweet. In other Cape Verdean dialects, this would be dos. Pronouns. So the pronouns are very similar indeed. Bo means you, bozot or boso, Papiamento is you all. Nos or no, and nos means we or us. Me or un, and me in Pabiamento means I or me. However, un is more commonly used in Cape Verdean Creole, and me is only used for the verb ser. El or e in Santiago, on Santiago Island means he, she, or it. However, in Pabiamento, both forms are used. E is used with everything, but the form el is only used in the past tense in Pabiamento. And, and the pronoun for they, s in Cape Verdean Creole, is nang in Pabiamento. However, forms of papiamento have this s as a demonstrative in asaki this as say that in older forms of papiamento older speakers may tend to use s as the pronoun for they some extra words include so the word for only miso by myself boso by yourself Manya or manyang in some dialects of Cape Verdean Creole, and manyang in Papiamento. Bang or bong, good, the word for who is shared between both. Kende or ken, the word for where is nearly identical. Unde and unda, and the word for that, for, and the word for thing is also very similar. Cosa and cos. In Cape Verdean Creole, many words end in a D. However, some of these examples have evolved into a R in Papiamento. Words include tud, which is now tur in Papiamento, Pode, which is now Por, in Papiamento. Verbs have a lot of interesting things about them amongst the two languages. Tabata is exactly the same with the same pronunciation and the same stress. It means was or had been and is typically used for the past tense or for the distant, remote past tense. Mi Tabata Kore, I was running. Mi Tabata, Mi Tabata Kana. Mi Tabata Kondusi, I was driving, I was walking. Ta, the present tense, required in Cape Verdean Creole to signify the past present tense. However, it's optional in Papiamento, and commonly used. By means to go, and is exactly identical. Many verbs tend to end in a stressed vowel on the last syllable. Passa, exactly the same, meaning to pass. Conche, to know. Conoce, to know. The Papiamento one is from Spanish, however, it still has final stress. Sabi or sabe means to know in Cape Verdean Creole and sabi, or sa in Papiamento. Intende, tende, to understand them both, however, it means to hear in Papiamento. To want. Cre has three forms in Papiamento. Que, quer, quer, to want. To neither to have to is also identical and comes from Portuguese. Meste, mester. A similar ending of the verbs with pronouns squishes with the verb. This is a feature commonly found in Portuguese and Spanish with forms like aslo, fazimi, faish, faishlo. However, in these languages, the m combines with fazer 
in Kverdin Creole. So Fazem, do it for me. Fazeb, do it for you. Hasimi, do it for me. However, it is possible that some Papimentos would say Hasim and Hasibu, do for you. In some Kverdin dialects, the form bu is also used at the end of the verb, mainly in Sotavento dialects. And prepositions also have some similarities between the two. Ku means with, although ma can be used in Kverdin Creole. Na from Portuguese ang a means in. Pa means for. Te from Portuguese até means until. And D is exactly the same between both languages. What part of this video did you find most interesting? Write your comments below and ask any further questions that you may have about the K Verdian Creole Papiamento connection. Subscribe for more language and travel content. Visit us at langshack.org and on IG and Twitter at the Langshack handle and Facebook at the Langshack Revival handle. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video next Tuesday.